What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Alolan Data Decks with me, The One. In the last episode we covered the Dragon Fighting type combo and I gave you a choice between the two box legendaries Solgaleo and Lunala to cover one either the Sun or the Moon and Solgaleo won out just, it was by one vote so it was very close. So we're covering Solgaleo today and we'll cover Lunala another time but of course before we do that we have to choose a Pokemon for the next episode and it's going to be a battle between two Alolan forms we haven't seen before and they are Raticate and Marowak. So would you like to see the Dark Normal type Raticate or the Ghost Fire type or the Fire Ghost type rather? way around Marowak. Let me know down below by ever commenting Raticate or Marowak and the one with the most votes will be covered next episode. But for now, let's jump in and have a look at the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo. So number 791 in the National Pokedex is the Sun Pokemon and a Psychic Steel type. It's 11 foot and 2 inches tall, so it's pretty tall as well, you know, 3.4 meters uh, alternatively, and weighs 507.1 pounds or 230 kilograms. It's a pretty big lion. It's in the Unscavered Egg group, of course, being a genderless Pokemon thanks to its status as a legendary. But unlike other legendaries, it is part of an evolution chain. Of course, we have Cosmog, get in the bag, Nelly. We have Cosmo M, and then of course we have Solgaleo, level 43, then level 53 in Sun only. Then looking at its base stats, you can see its highest two stats are health points and attack at 137 each. So it's fairly bulky, and obviously it's a physical attacker here. Its special attack is still pretty good as well at 113, so you can use it if you really wanted to, but it's primarily physical. Moving further down, you have physical defense at 107, speed at 97, and then special defense at 89. So really, its worst stat is special defense, so that's really what you need to watch out for, but apart from that, nothing too bad, I'd say, about the stats. Then the ability for Solgaleo is, of course, full metal body, which prevents other Pokemon's moves or abilities from lowering its stats. So just generally a sort of a solid ability. It can't get intimidated. It can't get you know defense lowered. So it's pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty standard ability. So what's the typing like? Well, it actually resists a lot of types. There are a total of nine types, I think, uh, that resist, which are normal, grass, flying, rock. Psychic, Ice, Dragon, Steel, and of course Fairy. Psychic is a quarter resistance because of course Psychic and Steel both resist the Psychic type. Alternatively, and sort of parallel that, it has four weaknesses which are Fire, Ground, Ghost, and Dark, but comparing that to the resistances you have, I'd say it's pretty good. It's also immune to Poison of course, being a part Steel type, so that's a bonus too, taking neutral from just the last four types which are Water, Electric, Fighting, and Bug. So I'd say overall it's a pretty solid typing, a lot of resistances, got a few weaknesses but nothing you can't handle. So the moves, of course being primarily physical that's what we're looking at here, you could if you really wanted to run it special but physical would be the best way to do it. The first one is learn on evolution from Cosmo M into Sogaleo, of course if you uh, are just catching it in the game it will probably know this already but of course if you have your Cosmog from your game then you can get another one if you really want. Uh, but this is Sun Thrill Strike which is a steel type move, physical, 100 base power so it's pretty damn powerful I'd say, you know, um, basically the steel stab you want to be using. And the benefit to using it is the fact that it ignores the target's ability, so I don't know if any particular usages this might be helpful, but it, it's still pretty good. So for example, probably Fur Coat it'll ignore um, and do like full damage, so it, it's going to be a pretty good move to use. One other level of move we have here is Flare Blitz at level 61. While not being a fire type, you can still learn this, and it's still a pretty standard move. 120 base power. It will be a recall, of course, but it's definitely worth running. Then in TMs, we have three here. The first is TM26 Earthquake, definitely an option because it's Earthquake, 100 base power, ground type, general good coverage. And then we have TM21 Stone Edge, so instead of ground, we have rock here. 80% accuracy, of course, but 100 base power, so it's an alternative if you want to be hitting those flying types or those uh, fire types, I suppose, and, and stuff like that. And then one final TM is Wild Charge at TM93. An electric type move, 90 base power, pretty standard, of course. Again, this will do a recall to you, um, but it's definitely an option for coverage. Then looking at the heart scale moves here, so like basically moves you would learn at lower levels i.e. before you've actually evolved from a Cosmo M, so you will have to use a heart scale for this. The first of these is Morning Sun, it's learned level 31, which of course I can't really learn, so if Morning Sun of course is going to heal you up, which is pretty good, you know, good, good, you know, it's always good to have some health and restoration, especially in the Uber tier and the higher tiers like that, and of course it will do more in, um, in Sun, because of course it's Morning Sun, so if you ever come to that, you've got that there. Then we have a heart scale move, or of course you could just keep it from when you are Nebby, 
or Cosmog, we have Splash. Um, the reason for Splash is of course we can use a Z move with it to get Z Splash and we'll talk more about that later on. And then the final move we have is Zen Headbutt and of course that is a Psychic type move, that's your Psychic Stab here. Um, physical of course, it's really all you've got in terms of physical Psychic type moves. It's 90% accuracy, only 80 bit base power, but of course it does have the chance to flinch too so I suppose there is a benefit to using it there, but really it's the only option you've got for a Psychic Stab. So what sets could we use for Soul Grenade? Well, I'm only going to look at one here because it's pretty much standard, just full power. Um, but obviously I mentioned Splash. As I mentioned, it is a Z Splash. That's what you want to use it as. So equip your normal Allium Z. You use Z Splash. And then that means that when you use it, you get yourself a very nice boost, I suppose. I guess it's a boost. Well, it is technically a boost. Um, attack raises by three stages when you use it. So you can just survive one attack, one, one turn, and you have plus three attack. And that's pretty powerful. So it means you can run Jolly Nature, you can run um, Life Orb, and just do lots of damage. And of course, just make sure you set up at the right time, basically. But onto the actual set we're looking at. The Musa hit is going to be Sunsteel Strike, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Wild Charge. Ability, of course, is full metal body. Nature is going to be adamant, and the held item is a choice ban or an expert belt. EV wise, we have, you know, as you would guess, I suppose, maximum attack and maximum speed with the last four in special defense. So, what's this all about here? Well, obviously, the four moves we've got Sun Steel Strikers are Steel Stand, we have Earthquake, we have Stone Edge, we have Wild Charge. Earthquake is for coverage, Stone Edge is for coverage again, and Wild Charge is for damage. Of course, you can feel free to switch. You know, wild Charge out for Flare Blitz, you can switch out Stone Edge for Zen Headbutt, but this is generally the, the four main ones I suppose that use the most coverage to cover the types with. Uh, nadam, adamant, adamant Nature? Adamant Nature, of course, rather than Jolly, because we just want to be really powerful. Basically, we have a really good, good health point stats, so we can definitely you know, survive a, a hit or two, so we don't need to be the first to attack, basically, we just need to do a lot of damage with that attack. The choice of Choice Band or Expert Belt is up to you. Choice Band will lock you into that single move, but of course it will be very powerful. Whereas Expert Bat will not limit you in terms of your choice of moves, but of course you want to be leaning more towards using super effective moves only. So, in the cases that you know the move isn't super effective and you have no choices there, it means you can't, your Expert Bat won't actually be boosting that attack, whereas the Choice Band would be. So, there's your options there. And even as I said, we're just going maximum attack and speed for the power and the speed. And the last four in special defense, just to shore that up a tiny bit. Uh, obviously, you won't really want to be relying on it, but um, you know it's better to have a bit of extra in there. Um, so, in terms of how you use it, it's a very simple Pokemon to use. I suppose it's Choice Band, definitely. There's no fancy way to do it. You just go Choice Band, you start doing damage. Or of course, there's Expert Belts. Similarly, you just go and start using the right attacks, basically. If you're looking to use that Splash set with like a Morning Sun, maybe so Z Splash, Morning Sun. Uh, Sun Steel, Drop Strike, and Earthquake, for example. We have obviously Full Body, Jolly Nature, a Life Orb, and then Eevee's being maximum attack and speed and the rest in special defense. Similar to this, um, how you use that, you, you go and use Ed's Bash when you can, so make sure you've got a, a spare turn basically to do that. Then, of course, you can start doing damage, and of course, you have Morning Sun to heal you up if and when it's necessary. So, well, that is really going to be it for this episode. There's not a huge amount, huge amount to say about Soul Galeo, so I'm not going to try and drag it out. But, of course, don't forget to vote for the next episode's Pokemon, either Alolan Raticate or Alolan Marowak. So, comment either one down below to, I guess, register your vote. But for now, this is going to be it for me for today, so I should be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.